The Green Bay Packers just got news that we all needed to hear. What is it? I'm going to break that down for you guys in this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please take a second to do so. Let's jump into it. What's the news we all needed to hear as Packer fans? Well, it comes on the injury front, and we're talking about, of course, Jordan Love. But as we know, all know, he returned to practice yesterday. Adam Schefter tweeted this out, despite what was projected to be a three to four week absence due to a knee injury. There is a chance that the Packers quarterback, Jordan Love could make it back to Sunday's start against the Titans. And it goes on to say that it wouldn't surprise me if he plays this week. A source said it's definitely a day by day. Like he said, a 50, 50 chance right now, but the larger point might be that even if love can't make it back Sunday, he'll have a realistic chance to return next week at home against the Minnesota Vikings. That's huge. That's what I care about. But today we get the report from Rob Domofsky saying that the Packers are in pads and so is Jordan Love. So he's back out there for the second straight day in practice and he's going through those hurdles. He's he's getting involved with the pads and all that stuff. Matt Schneidman also re reported that Jordan Love is practicing for the second straight day. Packers are in pads. Jaden Reed and Eldon Jenkins are practicing after missing yesterday. So that is great news for Packer fans heading in to Sunday's matchup against the Tennessee Titans. This is a stout defense, so having Jenkins back on the line is going to be super great for Green Bay in protecting whether it's Malik Willis or Jordan Love. Either way, you need uh, you need you need your best out there, and Elton Jenkins is one of the best, right? So Jordan Morgan and Carrington Valentine still out. Tucker Craft shoulder was in a red non-contact jersey, but encouraging news coming out of. Green Bay from the injury front. I want you guys to leave your comments. Let me know what you guys think. Would you rather have Jordan Love kind of push things, get back out there, ready to go? Um, I don't know if he would be 100% or not. My guess is that he wouldn't be 100%. Would you want him to be like 95% and push it to get out there against the Tennessee Titans? Or do you want Malik Willis out there? Leave your comments. Let me know your thoughts. I'm going to give you my thoughts. If it's me, I see the matchup against the Tennessee Titans, and I'm like, okay, Jordan Love, is he? If, unless he's 100% ready to go, then why not? Of course, you're going to put your starting quarterback out there, but if he's not 100%, even if it's 95%, I say rest him one more week. Just have him do some like low uh, contact type stuff on that knee um, and take it somewhat easy. Play Malik Willis. And for those who might be saying, hey, listen, man, Malik Willis, this could be a uh, a revenge type of game for him. Well, he doesn't look at it that way. What did he have to say about the matchup? Well, let's see right here. It says uh, uh, right here. He says, I could care less, bro. I think I got paid the entire time I was there, right? So I'm more than blessed for the opportunity that the Tennessee Titans gave me. They brought me into this league, whether those guys are there or not, the organization, they took a shot on me. What a high character type guy. What a thing to say. That's not the norm. Um, I, I love it. I, I could, I think it was uh, such a, a high, high road type of comment to make. Uh, and I think more players out there need to make those type of comments because it's like, dude, listen, I'm making tons of money. They brought me into the league. They gave me a shot. Why is there a revenge thing? Just because they traded me. It's all good. However, the Packers will have that. It's like that little spark. It's an extra added nudge that some locker rooms uh, would love to have. And I think the Packers would have that with Will Levis. So I think, you know, there's there's a an even greater uh, thing working in their favor when it comes to their likelihood of winning when you have to go to a backup quarterback like Malik Willis, him going back home against the Tennessee Titans, I think is uh, uh, works in the Packers' favor, absolutely. And when he, he's going up against a guy like, uh, Will Levis. I mean, you're seeing what, you know, his, you know, everything about Will Levis is just, he's not looked good this season whatsoever. Titans quarterback, Will Levis focusing on cleaning up mistakes and winning. That's the thing is it's been a lot of mistakes coming out of this guy. So where does he rank amongst quarterbacks out there? So when you open up the stats out there, I hate it. When you open up ESPN stats, it automatically filters to yards. Who's got the most passing yards? To me, that's not a good indicative to how good a quarterback's doing. For me, it's touchdowns, interception ratio, and then uh, quarterback rating. Let's take a look at the quarterback rating and where uh, Will Levis is currently at. Will Levis, 26th in the league. 
And then if you notice right above that 25th in the league is Jared Goff. They just paid a bunch of money. Now it is early on in the season, but man, if I paid a dude a bunch of money and he's got a passer rating of 69.6, I have my concerns there for the Detroit Lions. I love it as a Packer fan. I think Jared Goff is a, an incredibly overrated quarterback to get paid what he got paid. That's my two cents. Will Levis, again, 67.3 passer rating. Let's go to interceptions. Okay, so let's look at the interceptions. Where is Will Levis? Well, he's currently 40th in the league. Him and Bo Nix are tied for interceptions. The most right behind him, 34th in the league, is Jared Goff. Again, if you're a Lions fan, that's not a good sign. You've got Jared Goff. I know it's just two games in, so I'm not putting a ton of stock into it, but the Detroit Lions are looking the way that I thought they would look. Revert back to some videos that I said, I think the Detroit Lions were going to take a massive step back. They're already starting to question some things within their organization, which works great for the Packers in the NFC North. So let's see what Will Levis was doing against the Chicago Bears in their initial matchup, their first game of the season against the Bears. Now the Bears have a stout defense. Will Levis, 19 of 32. 127 yards only, one touchdown, two interceptions. And we all know what Caleb Williams did that game. He threw for under 100 yards passing. So that was just an ugly game. It was a defensive battle. Again, the Tennessee Titans have a good defense. So the Green Bay Packers are going to have to go into that game saying, hey, listen, are we going to you know do the same type of game plan that we did um, uh, last week against the Indianapolis Colts? Of course, the Tennessee Titans are expecting that a run-heavy offense out of Green Bay, so the Packers are going to really have to mix things up. Of course, what better person to do so than Matt LaFleur getting the team ready offensively? Let's look at what Will Levis did uh, last week against uh, Aaron Rodgers and the Jets. Um he threw 19 of 28, 192 yards, one touchdown and an interception. A little bit better from the week previous against the Bears. But again, he was making lots of mistakes in the game, some inerrant throws, which could have resulted in extra turnovers. And it just so happens that the Green Bay Packers are first in the league when it comes to creating turnovers. So I am anticipating a, a very good defensive game from Green Bay. I'm expecting improvements on run defense out of Jeff Halfley, but expect to see uh, a few turnovers in this game. Will Levis has already been showing his cards this year that he has uh, just been making some bad and poor decisions out there. And what better team to go against than the Packers who creates lots of turnovers Number one in the league, averaging three turnovers a game so far. Leave your comments. Let me know, though. Who would you rather have start? Would you like to see Malik Willis out there or Jordan Love? Of course, a healthy Jordan Love. You'd love to see him out there. But if he's 95% healthy, would you rather play Malik Willis or Jordan Love? Leave your comments. Let me know what you guys think. And as always, go Pack Go.